you are feeling crummy, visiting loved ones, looking for peace of mind. There are so many reasons you may want a rapid COVID-19 test right now. The bottom line is if in doubt, get tested. We ran through some testing scenarios with Dr. Sunny Sagar, emergency medicine physician. If the rapid test is positive, you're likely positive, whether or not you're showing symptoms. A PCR test is more accurate, done through a lab with a slower turnaround. Getting a PCR test confirmation could be necessary for some workplaces, Otherwise, just focus on feeling better. It's very unlikely that you're negative, that it's false positive. Showing symptoms but testing negative? Try again in a few days. Look for a PCR swab and in the meantime, err on the positive side and stay home. Even if it's not COVID, should you really be going into work or school anyway? If you've got a possibly infectious upper respiratory illness? I think thinking back before the pandemic, yeah, a lot of us would have gone and done things that we had planned on doing. We wouldn't have canceled our plans or called in sick to work for a runny nose or a mild sore throat. But those are early symptoms of COVID. Most people don't think, oh, I'm going to give my coworker a cold. She's going to die, <laughs> you know. But you do think that it's a possibility or more of a possibility if you're like, oh, I might give my coworker COVID. Asymptomatic, no recent exposures, testing negative. He says you're probably fine. That's probably the only case where I might say it's okay, you don't have to get a PCR. Dr. Sagar says we should now be in a season of healthy caution. Even if you can't find a test, avoid passing the virus with vaccines, masks, and distance when necessary. It's just common sense. Abby Larico, five on your side.